beautiful day. Rise and shine, people. Wait. Morning jigs. <laughs> that radiator is lovely and tasty. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another vlog and also another series that I'm going to be starting. So I'm going to try and challenge myself and do some daily vlogs for the next week, which never done before. I'm very new to vlogging anyway. So it'll be a good challenge to try and edit and get stuff up quickly and consistently as well. So I am currently in Iceland, which has been a bucket list place for a very, very long time. We arrived yesterday evening at around 6 p.m. Um, it was very dark. We are only just seeing the sunlight now for the first time and it is approaching 11 a.m. the next day. Um, very smooth journey here. We flew from London to Reykjavik, I wanna say. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, and we are here for the next two nights before we start driving south as well. Yeah, last night just did some calls and then we decided to go and look for some northern lights. So the forecast was pretty moderate last night, like nothing too crazy, but better than the previous couple of nights before we arrived. So we drove out to a place called Grotta Lighthouse, which is about a 10 minute drive out of the city and it's a lot more dark than in the city which is what you want right and um, I'll just insert the clips here of what we managed to find last night. It's 1am and we are going to see if we can see the northern lights. I had a little google and it said that tonight was quite a high chance of seeing them so We've been up since quite early, we've been travelling all day, we've been working until now, but we're going to get in the car and we're going to go see if we can see the Northern Lights, so let's hope we do. Think you're going to see them? No! It's all about believing, if you believe. See, believe, achieve. Exactly. We're on our mission. It is... 11 minutes past two in the morning and I sat in the car. I've been here for maybe 15 minutes so far and I've been looking at Facebook groups and lots of people say that they can see them so Northern Lights completed it, mate. <laughs> woo wee 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 wee. <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> but we forgot the tripod, so we'll have to come back again another night and get some even better pictures and stuff. Very exciting. Just literally spotted it out the window. This morning 
morning we woke up at around eight o'clock after just a short four hour sleep after our northern light hunting experience but obviously very much worth it and um i had a couple of calls this morning and now we're just gonna go out and explore so we're all rugged up we have got layers on layers on layers and we're gonna go and get some coffee and go and explore the town or the city of record <laughs> think of the northern lights aiden Wow. Wow. That's what I thought. Wow. Are you surprised? <laughs> you were ready to go to sleep with your heated seat on, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. 3 a.m. Worth staying up for though, right? So how many layers do you need for minus five degrees? I hear you ask. Well, too many is not enough. So <laughs> we have thermals and thermals on the bottom and trousers and a polo neck jumper and another jumper over the top with thermal socks and boots and Golden ingredient. Yeah, jacket. Yeah, obviously a jacket. Yoga hat instead of earmuffs. Because for us there's too many colours going on. We've got the black. We've got the black scarf. And then you probably need gloves and also maybe some secondary gloves. Now we're ready to go and sit on our heated seats. <laughs> so we literally just walked out our apartment and we saw this. How the hell is that even real life? without even going anywhere. Great, right? That was pretty cute. Yeah, so we just went to that cafe. It was really nice and warming. I had a mocha that was delicious. And now we're back out in the cold and this is our view. Hyper Ericsson, discoverer of Finland, the son of Iceland, the United States of America to the people of Iceland to the one thousandth anniversary to the old thing, AD 1930. You are historian Aiden. That's what they call me. I'm a professor. I know that, I think it was yesterday I was saying it wasn't that cold, but today it's so windy. And I think it said it was like minus six degrees, um, but the feels like is like, I think like minus nine, minus 10. So it's very cold. The hands, we've just got thin gloves on so that we could use the camera. And yeah, I'm excited to go inside here. And we'll see what it's like. So 
<laughs> I believe that's how it is. Good. Or something on the side. lines. Um, really stunning. Like the sunlight coming from those track lines was just incredible. So I'm sure you'll see it if you do come to it. It's difficult to miss, but definitely a very beautiful. just decided to turn down one of these cute little streets and the town is just so adorable isn't it? It looks like a Christmas card. <laughs> like look at these houses. Like come on imagine actually living in that house. I know it's so cool. One of my favourite parts about travelling is literally just like walking around the streets and not sure where you're going but you get to feel like you've really seen the city. So we've started walking towards the water and Aidan's decided he's gonna go for an arctic swim. Yep, just gonna go to the beach and <laughs> pitch our towels and go sunbaking. Sunbaking! We brought our factor 50 Probably more red from like wind whip at the minute. <laughs> we just stopped to get some fries and we asked for large fries and. There's one of this. <laughs> one thing to note with Iceland is it's so cold that you have to make stop ups every half an hour or else your fingers will actually freeze off. So we ducked into this fast food job called Taktu Taktu, I think. <laughs> Taktu Taktu. Um, on the, it's on like, is that the ocean or is it? Yeah, the ocean for us. So getting warm, having lots of chips, and then we'll head over. Have a, take some pictures, have a little look around there, and then we'll head back to the car because we caught some sandwiches, but we cannot eat them with our hands out in this cold. Like they're sliding. Oh, shabu! <laughs> about the cold when you have that, can you? Wow! Incredible! Now, <laughs> that's the wind, but We've just been catching up with some work, some calls, and I went to the shops to get some supplies for dinners. One thing I did forget was oil, so we had to get creative, and we had this like baking tray, so I was like, okay, I can bake the chicken. Now I'm using the chicken juices to fry the capsicums. Um, so we're gonna be having a really simple chicken and like pesto pasta we also wanted to take some for our lunch tomorrow because we're going on a little road trip but we realized we had no um what is it called containers so i went to the shops and <laughs> rather than like buy a plastic Tupperware box that we're not going to use that's really expensive in Iceland. I just bought us croissants for the morning in these and we can just like keep the pasta in there, cling wrapped and it will be good to go. Voila.
have to say that or else you'll have an unhappy girlfriend. Hey. morning now today we are checking out of the apartment that we're in in Reykjavik and we are going to be start driving south on a little road trip go and see some waterfalls and go and see some of the what I have heard is the most beautiful parts of Iceland but before we do leave I thought I would give you a very quick room tour of the place we've been staying whilst we are in Reykjavik. Um, it, it's called the Blue Mountain Apartments and I believe it's around 10 to 15 minute drive from the city town centre um, and we've really enjoyed our stay here so I'll leave a link of it down below if you do decide that you want to um, look at staying here as well. But we are in the uh, one of the studio apartments. So as you walk in, you've got fridge, microwave. We have like this big dining table that we have been working on as well. We've got like a kitchen area with oven and it does come with lots of like cooking supplies and everything as well. Um, and as we walk around, sofa that does pull out into a sofa bed in case there are more of you staying here as well we have like a tv area here pretty comfy bed and wardrobe and as you can see it's nearly 10 o'clock and still very dark outside but i promise you if you watched yesterday's vlog then you will see um, how beautiful that is when the sun does rise there too and then in the bathroom, we just have a shower that's really, really hot, um, toilet and sink area. I believe that um, I booked this on booking.com and I think it was, for the two nights, it was around 260 Australian dollars. So not too bad compared to some of the other places to stay in Iceland and really convenient, free parking, you do need a car to get here, but um, I would probably, just from our experience so far, recommend getting a car regardless. So we've arrived at our first stop on the road trip and look at that. I think it's called Selju, what's it called? Selgelands Foss. Selgelands Foss. Icelandic native over here. <laughs> closed off because it is just so icy so I think that's expected to come in winter but I think normally you can go behind that I can imagine it would be pretty cool. just stopped off on the side of the road because there's all these 
beautiful horses. So getting some pictures, giving them some love, um, and they're giving us some kisses back by the looks of it. So we've just pulled up at Skogafoss Waterfall. It's only about a 10 minute drive from where we were with the horses. So we're going to put our warm gear on again. And then it looks like there's like some steps up to see the top of the waterfall. So we'll take a walk up. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be... Actually, you don't get too close to this one, so maybe we won't get wet. The last one that was like spraying in your face, so hopefully this one will be a little bit warmer. Tell me why males act like children. <laughs> Let's go. Go hard. <sighs> oh, what a plonker. Remember when I said I thought that one was going to be warm because it didn't look like there was as much spray? Well, I cannot feel my cheeks, but absolutely incredible. There was a beautiful rainbow on it as well. Like, it's just perfect. And this time of day, just get such good photos and video content so definitely worth some fun. actually more stairs than I thought it was going to be but it's not icy which is good. beautiful golden hour all day and for the four hours of sunlight you get it so um, we're on one of our last stops just because we are losing sunlight um, I'll put on the screen what it's called because I'm not gonna try and pronounce it um, but it looks like a beautiful viewpoint um, the shoreline is actually like frozen right up to the shoreline which really beautiful really unique and perfect day to see it
day we've come to the Black Sand Beach which is just stunning for the sunset and it's got these incredible caves with like all these rock formations on it that just absolutely incredible the view to die for and way to end the day of exploring so far <laughs> because of the wind. <laughs> earlier was us coming to our new place that we're staying in this evening so we're on the south coast um, in a place called Hogslands I want to say um, not really much here we were not prepared there was nothing open so we had to deal with what we could get from a service station for dinner so tonight we are having good old bacon sarnies so Got a little bit of cheese left over from the pasta yesterday. Just finishing editing the first day's vlog. I think it's going to be a long one, so I'm sorry. And I'm sure you have already watched it. If not, then I will leave it linked somewhere as well. Um, but yeah, all we're going to do for the rest of the evening is finish editing video, eat some dinner, and then get an early night for another day of exploring tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Welcome to day three of the Iceland road trip vlogs and today we're going to be going even further south and looking at some glaciers. Now I didn't get a chance to give you a room tour yesterday so I thought I'd save it till this morning. We are in a bit of a rush. Um, checkout's 11 and we're leaving it right till last minute. Had a bit of a line but we are staying in this really really cute um, cottage like wooden cottage. Um, it's called Hogsland Cottages. Um, I'll give you a very quick tour of that now. Here is the cottage. You can park right up outside which is perfect and we have these gorgeous like rock formations here. And as we walk in, obviously spot for coats and stuff. It's actually a really big cottage. It's meant for six people but um, Obviously there's just the two of us, so there's two bedrooms which have like the bunk bed. This is like a large single and then that one's much smaller up there. In here we have a private bathroom and a shower that is actually surprisingly hot. And then we come into the main living area. As you can see it's all like wooden lodge vibes, got like seating area and TV which you will have seen us watching the World Cup on yesterday just because there are no pubs near here 
um, kitchen area and cooking facilities there as well. You can see it goes up some stairs too to another outdoor area which I will give you a quick show of now. So a little bit sketchy stairs, they're quite thin and difficult to do it in with boots but we just have like a little bed area up here too which is where we slept. It's actually really warm up there. <laughs> and also these cottages have a beautiful outdoor area with the kitchen which we didn't really get to use as it's very very cold and we're only here for one evening but yeah really nice place to stay not much to do other than enjoy the beautiful scenery which of course is amazing in itself oh my hands are really cold from youth in this cabin so we need to get a move on and get going <laughs> stop of the day and it is Eldrahorn Lava Fields which was created after the largest volcano eruption they had here in Iceland in the 80s and it caused massive destruction so we're gonna go up and have a look it's meant to be one of the largest in the world So apparently when this happened, it, it lasted for a year, this volcano eruption, and it ruined pretty much the majority of the crops that were here. It caused disease, so it was pretty traumatic, but it has left this incredible scenery, which <laughs> it does actually feel like you're in another planet, to be honest. just arrived at this canyon which I will not try to pronounce because it begins with an F and it has a J after it which I do not think my English accent would be able to pronounce that but look at this it's just beautiful it honestly looks like some of the postcards we were looking in the souvenir shop the other day but wrapped up warm it looks very very cold down there the water is freezing on the edges as well I think it's feels like of minus 10 degrees today we've got double layer of socks on as well so taking it in enjoying it we've got beautiful sunlight again today so feeling very grateful snowy mountains that looks a little bit like the yeah. Alps. So I think we're going to be um, doing a hike on one of these tomorrow. So it's good to come and see what it looks like. Beautiful scenery. So we're going to have a little walk around and see what we can find. <laughs> because we decided against doing a little walk uh, hike thing today that's because it is nearly 2 30 already and we wanted to make the diamond beach for sunset but also upon like remembering and looking at our glacier trek tomorrow um i think that we actually go across that glacier anyway so we thought rather than waste time today 
we'll just do that tomorrow and I think we'll have enough time afterwards to go and do the waterfall there as well. So back in the car, nice and warm. We're gonna go to the Diamond Beach and hopefully find some food en route as well because we've not actually eaten anything today yet either. And I know that sometimes we call ourselves digital nomads. Well, now we are calling ourselves digital omads. And that's because we only eat one meal a day. So if you're in the digital omad crew, Oh, Mads on tour, hey? Hustle, no time for food. <laughs> Just hustling. some coconut and curry soup and it tastes like a Thai red curry with bread help yourself eat as much as you want very delicious very warming the only thing is it's like $25 for a bottle of soup but whatever we're in the middle of nowhere it's yummy and we needed it so we're gonna enjoy this <laughs> Just walking down to, um, is it just, is it called Black Diamond Beach? Or just Diamond, I think it's Diamond Beach and it's got all these big ice formations and they literally look like diamonds on this beautiful black beach. So it's pretty incredible, beautiful view, beautiful sunset, gonna enjoy it. We've not been to the gym in a couple of days, so. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. other side of the road under the bridge there's these beautiful glaciers which I have no words for they're just incredible I think I've said that about a billion times in these vlogs but nothing else to say somewhere that's playing the England game so we've blocked ourselves right in front of the TV we've got ourselves some food this looks delicious I've got lobster pasta with garlic bread and Aiden's got some barbecue ribs a beer football and we also just saw the Northern Lights again so they still weren't that strong and we didn't have a try for them again but I did manage to get a couple of photos. Good morning 
and welcome back to another day in Iceland and we've woken up this morning and driven back to Skatafell um, Glacier where this morning we're going to be going and doing a glacier hike and into the ice caves which very very exciting I'm hoping we get some beautiful photos it is freezing this morning it's minus 10 degrees um, so we've wrapped up warm as always um, we got here nice and early so um, we're all booted up they've changed our boots we've got our gloves on and we're gonna get crampons and go hiking on the glacier start bending a bit but at some point the top cannot bend anymore and it's gonna crackle and this is what's happening over there then as it's moving more and more it's gonna open up more as well huh? yeah As you would have seen, we've finished our glacier hike and that was incredible. What did you think of the the blue ice case? Pretty incredible, right? It's, it's really something. And we were like the only people on the whole um, glacier, so pretty much had it to ourselves. Our tour guide was incredible. Very kind of let us wander where we wanted to wander and we went up and down lots of hills i think we went pretty much to the top of it as well and took some beautiful pictures in the blue ice cave as well it is a little bit different to the crystal ice cave um just in case you are wondering i didn't know that i thought it was going to be the crystal ice cave but either way it was stunning and we didn't have to share it with anyone else which i don't think would be the case if we went to the crystal ice cave and when we were going back to the office where they like drove us from um we were talking to the bus driver and he was like where are you going next and we were gonna we told him that we were gonna go to the waterfall that was in scatterfell national park and he was like no there's no sunlight there it's not great you can't see anything it's 45 minutes down so he told us to drive into the foss hotel and he said there's a waterfall there that's um, you can't see from the road but he said it's just so beautiful when you drive off the road so we did just that um, and this is what we are looking at at the moment Aiden trespassing and we're the only people here as well which is the good thing about taking locals recommendations right you get to see stuff like this no don't be sick <laughs> And we're currently walking on ice, so probably not the safest move, but definitely a beautiful one. All these icicle, whoa, <laughs> icicle man. Stop off because there's literally no one here and we would be able to do 
all the way up to it, I think, but it's just way too icy here. So um, we've gone as far as we can and yeah, we don't want to be stupid about it. We've arrived back at the guest house that we were staying in last night and also are in tonight as well. It's called the Sky Grahasit, I think, um, guest house. And it's just a little bit further um, round to the west than the Diamond Beach, so not too far from there. Um, pretty convenient. Um, it does have shared bathroom facilities, which we were a little bit worried about before we did arrive, but they do have a couple of different bathrooms, so there's plenty for the small amount of people that are staying here as well. So this is the room that we are in. Obviously a little bit messy now because we did stay here last night, but as you can see, Pretty basic room, but does the job. It's nice and warm, places to put your coats. Even though it is shared bathroom, they do still have like a sink and stuff, which is good for if you just want to brush your teeth um, and people are using the bathroom. But the showers here are really warm, really nice. So yeah, overall a very good stay. Also, I'm not sure how well you can see but the view is really, really beautiful here as well. So this is from our window and you just see the ocean in the back of it. It's been a couple of hours since I last picked up the camera, but this evening we did come back to our hotel and found that nothing nearby was open. So we did have to drive to a nearby hotel, the one near the waterfall actually, where you last saw, called Foss Hotel. They've got a beautiful restaurant there. The food was very good. Um, mine, not so much, but just because of my preference. I don't like fish and I got something with fish in it, so it's my own fault. But the quality of it was incredible. The suit the service was really really great on our way back to the hotel we managed to spot some more auroras so i think we've been really lucky or we've just got an eye for it because even when they're not that strong we can just like spot them out the car so we were prepared this time we did have a tripod with us and so we were able to get some better pictures Still not the best, we still got to work on some settings on the camera, but I will insert some of those pictures here. Your destination is on the right. are going to be staying in this beautiful glass igloo style accommodation for the night in the middle of Iceland and we're hoping that we may get to see the northern lights from this beautiful view as well. incredible spot behind me is called Panorama Glass Lodge and it will set you back a little bit but this was like one thing that we booked like six months ago we were prepared it was happening we paid for it so long ago that we don't even really remember paying for it either but my goodness like look at that it's incredible and I'm so excited to experience this and also the hot tub that's attached to it. There's also a completely glass sauna there too. So I'm looking forward to an incredible night. So we've just finished taking some pictures and some videos which are hoping 
we're going to be able to make some reels or something else of. It's very difficult because it is dark outside, like completely pitch black. So maybe we'll get some in the morning as well whilst the sun is rising. But it will be beautiful if the aurora does come out because I think you'll be able to see it in the background, which will just be incredible. So whilst we're waiting for that to happen, we're pretty confident it will. We've spotted them so many times, so fingers crossed. Um, we're going to take use of the hot tub and have a shower, sit in the hot tub, have a drink. We bought some like um, ciders and beers with us, so we can do it. My cheeks need some warming up and especially my nose and my ears. Um, it says on there that it's minus 6 degrees but when we looked this morning it said it feels like minus 11. So it's very windy, very cold, uh, grateful for these heated seats and we're definitely experiencing some of that Iceland windstorm today. road that is not really a road and we went 20 minutes up it to get to a dead end and now we have to go back so we will be using google maps from now on thank god we have a four wheel drive finally we made it in one piece and are we are on our way down to gull Fuss waterfall It's ridiculously cold today, like these thick gloves you can still feel the ice through it and we're on a short time frame so it was just a quick stop off but that was incredible, way bigger than I expected it to be. So make sure when you come here that you go right up the top and to the end because the part where it parts down the middle is just beautiful and you get some incredible photos. <laughs> One thing 
I did forget to mention was this whole area is called the Golden Circle and it's one of the popular routes to do if you are on maybe more of a shorter stay around Iceland. However, we have decided to do it on our way back to Reykjavik because it has some incredible views like that waterfall that we just saw which was absolutely amazing very very unique compared to the other ones we saw this route called the golden circle got its name because um goldfoss which were those waterfalls that we are at actually translates to golden waterfall so that's meant to be because when it is a bright summer's day the water glistens a goldy color which is why the whole route was named after that We've just pulled up at the geysers, I want to say it's pronounced, and to be honest with you, I was expecting it to smell a lot worse because we have heard it stinks of rotten egg. You can smell it a little bit, but it's not too bad. centigrade and it goes off every five to seven minutes so we're just trying to quickly walk around to the other side to get a different angle of it. off our last stop on the golden circle is this beautiful national park and we were worried we were going to be here a bit late but i think the timing was perfect like it's beautiful sky winter wonderland with pink colors and just couldn't get couldn't get any better than this can you Amy? After a long day of driving, we have arrived back in Reykjavik and we are staying in Central Plaza Hotel, I think it's called. It's right in the centre, so we've just kind of got in, had a little chill for the last half an hour, and now we're going to go out and try and head some food and catch the World Cup. Well, we did actually send some in Mexico and it was a lot more difficult to try and find stamps and get them posted but we've been told the bookshop down here has international uh, stamps so we're going to go get some and send these off.
very very few species of birds to protect them. So you can't even really scare the wind or the bird that much. And from the wind that I kept them up close the other day, it's really cold. Yeah, 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 they do make me shower naked before they come in, which was a little bit confusing. I didn't really know what was going on, and you don't get a towel until after you come out the water. So, um, and if you want to get your hair wet as well, you have to kind of wash your hair. Uh -huh. This is a deep cleansing. Thank you. You can leave it five to ten minutes on. Yeah. Uh, avoid your eyes in yeah. the process, but it's good for face and body. Afterwards, okay. you can rinse into the liver. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. you guys, appreciate business models. These dudes charge you like a hundred bucks to get in here and get one of and beer or one drink. <laughs> Basically, they probably make profit on all of it, and then if you like the cars, you'll go to the shop and you'll buy from the skincare range. So, included in the tank, you get one um, drink, so don't have this one, and you How did your face feel, then? It feels a bit solidified around <laughs> my nose and stuff. Your eyelashes are frozen as well. Face mask is good for your face, your body. You're looking forward to washing it off. It feels like it's working. You know, you get that hard, crunchy feeling when you can feel it solidifying on your face. <laughs> See the number plate. What are we doing here, Um, We're trying to wash our car before we give it back to the rental company so they have no excuse to charge us. Um, that's quite difficult in Iceland winter to find somewhere to wash your car. Um, apparently most of the service stations they ha don't have their water on in winter because it freezes. Um, a couple of them were out of order, other ones said like it's way too cold. So we're at this one and it looks like it's the only one that other people wait in the queue. We'll see how long. We've got to return the car soon. So After queuing up, uh, we did speak to one of the other people here that were washing their car. Um, it doesn't take a card. You have to go to the Olis, which is like a mile down the road and buy a little coin. It cost us $1,200, which is about $13. So we've got that. We're back in the queue. You can see people doing their cars here so Aiden's gonna be the professional car washer today. You excited? Yeah. <laughs>